Hello, everyone. I'm absolutely delighted to welcome you all here today for our biggest community event, the AWS Community Days South Asia edition, where all our user groups from India, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, and Nepal are coming together to host this event for all of you. As a quick introduction, I'm Puneet Chandok. I lead the Amazon Web Services business in India and South Asia. It's truly a privilege to have the front row seat to the largest technology shift of our lifetimes, cloud. At AWS, we work closely with our developer community through various programs, and I'm thrilled to see our India and South Asia community shining even at the global level. Really thrilled about that. Given the current context, uh, I really appreciate all of you coming together to attend this session with us. I hope all of you are doing well, keeping safe and doing everything you can to keep your loved ones well. While I really wish we could host you in person, and I hope that day is not too far, but we're gonna make the most today of this virtual format and make this session really useful and worthwhile for you, as you will get to hear from our community members, AWS colleagues, and several industry experts. I wanna structure my talk, my talk into three topics or three parts. Number one, I wanna talk about AWS in India and South Asia mission, and also the perfect storm of digitization that I'm starting to see in the country. Number two, I wanna talk about some of our AWS communities programs in the region. What are we really trying to build with them? And number three, I want to talk about a topic that's really close to my heart, skilling, and the role that we're starting to play there and the role that I expect all developers to play. So let's start with the first part of the conversation, AWS and the India context. Our mission in India as AWS is to enable builders and businesses to build a better India. Let me say this again. Our mission is to enable builders and businesses to build a better India. And we are continuing to do this every day by building more and more infrastructure, more capacity, building teams, building offices, bringing more and more services to India, bringing the best of AWS and Amazon to India for our customers, partners, and developers. And if you take a step back today and see what's starting to happen in India, the last couple of years have almost helped brew a, what I call a perfect storm of digitization of cloud, cloud adoption in India. And we want to be a big part of that journey and help move the country forward and bring the best of AWS to developers and customers and businesses. And we're seeing AWS today become the natural home for leading businesses across sectors in India. I'll give you a couple of examples to bring this to life. Freshworks, the SaaS customer engagement platform whose recent IPO we all witnessed and celebrated, they supercharged their marketplace with AWS Lambda. Many of Freshworks products feature a unified development platform that allows them to customize the experience and behavior of the product and integrate quickly into the workflows by, re by writing bespoke plugins. They've seen how Lambda scaled quickly and achieved 50% faster ticket response, 150 million monthly app executions, and 1,000 concurrent invocations. Wink Music, another app that I'm a big fan of, it's a leading music streaming service in India. They've used Amazon EKS, Amazon EMR, and Amazon SageMaker to grow monthly the monthly active user pool from 50 million to 72 million over the last couple of years. They've improved user interaction with a 39% increase in click-through rates to Wink's homepage, and also reduced development time from two weeks to four days. Two weeks to four days. Zerodha, another really exciting business in India. They are now India's largest retail stockbroker. They've reduced their backend processing time from hours to minutes using AWS Batch. Zerodha continues to wow its ever-increasing customer base, and as AWS, we're happy to be part of their journey. Let me move to the second part of the conversation and talk about our communities in India and South Asia and what we're trying to build with them. The AWS ecosystem consists of a large range of AWS enthusiasts, as you know, and advocates who are passionate about helping others build on AWS. We have a really vibrant developer community in India and South Asia, which is extensive and growing really fast. And with the fast adoption of AWS amongst developers, startups, enterprises, all sorts of businesses, we've seen these communities organically come together and organize themselves into 400 AWS focused user groups, 400 of those across the world. These AWS user groups are peer to peer communities where people come together, they meet regularly, they share ideas, they answer questions for each other, they learn about new services and best practices. In India and South Asia alone, we have 28 AWS user groups with over 53,000 community members today. I'd like to applaud all of you for making that happen. It takes a ton of effort, and I want to thank you for the tremendous effort that you've all put in to keep this community active despite the challenges of the pandemic that, that have come across us. 
we've even started seven new user groups this year in spite of the context around us and i just want to congratulate you for that let me talk about the two programs two community programs that i'm most excited about aws heroes and aws community builders aws heroes is one of our premium programs and only a select few of the most influential and active community leaders in the world who truly go above and beyond are recognized as aws heroes aws heroes are individuals and cloud users in the community who have deep expertise on aws and are enthusiastic about contributing back to the community currently there are 210 aws heroes around the world including 58 asia pacific aws heroes of which 14 are from india and sri lanka 14 are from india and sri lanka two new heroes were announced this year Dijesh Padina Hariti, our container hero, and Shuisht Repakala, our serverless hero. Congratulations to both of them. Let me talk about the second program, the community program that I'm really excited about, the AWS Community Builders. This is another global program which offers technical resources, mentorship, and networking opportunities to AWS enthusiasts and emerging thought leaders who are passionate about sharing knowledge and connecting with the technical community. Throughout this program, subject matter experts will provide mentorship and share insights, including information about our latest services, as well as our best practices for creating technical content, increasing reach, and share AWS knowledge across online and in-person communities. This year, we've seen a massive interest worldwide and received more than 7,000 applications, and our 1,000 applicants were selected. And I feel so proud to say that out of these applicants, one-third builders were from India making India the top country with the maximum number of builders for the program. Thank you to all of you. Looking at your passion for community building, technology and AWS services, I'm not at all surprised to see this number. In fact, we got to aim for more. Kudos to all of you. Let's move to the third part of the conversation, which is a topic that's close to my heart, skilling, and I'm sure all of you know this is really relevant for all of us today, including all developers. I believe we are now in the early throes of what some people have started to call the great decoupling. What this essentially means is that technology is starting to race ahead, but many of our skills and organizations are lagging behind. Let me say this again, technology is starting to pace ahead and move ahead, but our skills and organizations are still lagging behind. And along with this decoupling, we are now also starting to move towards the universal access to talent. And this has implications for each one of us, you and me. Talent used to be, until a few years ago, talent used to be a market with imperfect substitution, right? But that's starting to change now. The talent market today is universally accessible. You and I are competing with everybody in the world, which also means the age of the average is over. I'm a big music fan. I'm sure several of you listen to music. And I'll give you an example or a scenario and think about this. If you hear a succession of mediocre singers, will that ever add up to a single outstanding musical performance? Would a succession of average songs or average tracks ever add up to one single performance that can really give you the goosebumps? The answer is no. And that's the same thing that's happening in talent. The age of the average talent is over. In other words, talent is no longer a commodity that you can buy in bulk and combine to reach the needed levels. There's a premium to be scaled in this new world. In this new world, if you can't learn, you can't thrive. With that context, let me talk about two skilling programs that we are, we are really excited about, and I hope you would, you would think about these. The first is Reskill. This year, our community launched Reskill, an upskilling platform for developers by developers. It's a community-driven learning program and skilling program that aims to improve learning skills of developers. The knowledge journey takes a developer from the beginner to the intermediate to the advanced levels. The learnings are gamified with weekly, monthly, quarterly challenges that help you earn points, credits, and badges for consuming content. The program was launched in March of 2021, and it has already garnered more than 41,000 signups and over 1.2 million plus platform views with organic efforts from all of you in the community. If you haven't signed up yet, I would strongly recommend that you do so now. It's a great platform. It's a terrific platform for learning about new skills, earning rewards, connecting with your fellow community members, all for free. Let me talk about the second scaling pro program that I'm really excited about. And this is our Women in Tech Day effort. Our community recently hosted Women in Tech Day to inspire, educate, and bring the women IT professionals together through technical and non-technical non discussions, demos, and networking opportunities with AWS and industry experts across the community. The agenda was curated, keeping in mind the evolving needs of women IT professionals. It was a mix of tech and non-tech topics covering leadership, personal branding, restarting your career, career development, 
database, serverless containers, and it was followed by hands-on technology workshops on data analytics. I love this initiative because we need to continue this dialogue and do everything we can to help more and more women, not just join the tech industry, but also thrive and reach leadership levels. So let me wrap this up. There are three messages that I wanna leave you with. Number one is AWS, our mission is to enable builders and businesses to build a better India. We're truly trying to build a force that moves the country forward and we're thinking big for India. Number two, at AWS, we work closely with our developer community through various programs. And I'm thrilled to see our India and South Asia community shine even at the global levels. Kudos to all of you and thank you for being part of the community. And number three, I'd urge all of you to think deeply about skilling, thinking about getting better at your craft every day, building new muscles. As I said, the age of the average is over and there's gonna be a real premium in this new world on, on people who are skilled. With that, I hope all of you enjoy the sessions that are lined up today and get to learn more about AWS and AWS communities. If you want to be part of this amazing community, you can find a user group near you and join today to participate in the community and share your AWS knowledge. We are here to help you in your transformation journey. With that, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day and wish you all the very best. Take care. Thank you.